Hi, my name is Sean with MakerBot Learning. Gluing is a great solution when you have objects that you'd like to print larger than the build volume of your 3D printer or for assemblies. So in this video, we're going to cover some of the best practices associated with gluing your 3D prints. In order to effectively glue your models, you'll need the following supplies. Super glue, activator, two-part epoxy, rubber bands, filler, sandpaper, paper towels, a scraping tool, a gluing tray, a respiratory mask, gloves, and eye protection. First, inspect the points where your pieces are to be bonded. Clear them of any support material or rough edges to facilitate a firm bond. Next, glue your model's sub-assemblies. Using two-part epoxy here will allow you to reposition or realign pieces while the glue is still curing as epoxy cures slower. When gluing larger assemblies, it's important that your model be held in place firmly. You can do this with rubber bands. Spot join parts by placing small dots of glue evenly across each seam. This will help your model stay in place. Super glue typically takes about 30 seconds to a minute to cure completely. To speed up the process, use a spray activator. Continue to spread glue across the rest of the seam. Any excess glue should be wiped off immediately with a paper towel. Once the glue has cured completely, use a putty knife, exacto knife, or scraping device to scrape off any excess glue and to create a smooth seam. Once you're happy with the surfaces, joints, and small details of your model, you can begin to prepare the surface further if you plan to paint. In order to ensure that no pits, seams, or joints are visible before painting, apply some filler such as Bondo. Apply filler in layers where needed and set to cure. After the filler is dry, Sand briefly with 1,000 grit sandpaper. If you've applied thick layers, you may need to use 400 grit sandpaper to remove more material. Here we have the final product. You just learned how to take your prints beyond the build plate. If you're looking for more applications, check us out at makerbot.com or on our YouTube channel. And remember, if you try this at home, share it with us on Thingiverse or social media. We can't wait to see what you make.